Namaku Island is a region in southwestern Africa. Its colorful white flowers decorate the landscape in the spring, covering the weirdest fossils and alien remains you can imagine. And here is one of them. This creature has a long cone head and a weird long crown or a hat. His petrified body is a tube-like, partly decomposed formation of which material seems to have been organic bone due to the structure of this matter. The length of this giant creature is about 3 kilometers. This alien was once alive or it's an enormous work of art made by ancient giants. Bedrock of Namakwa land has formed in the Proterozoic Iron if geological timing is correct, thus this alien, if it was once alive, would have lived about two billions of years ago. This alien was quite weird creature as well. It's leaning on something which could be a petrified branch of some tree. And there is a plate with an obvious dinner placed on it and this may have been a burial gift for this ancient alien. All of this raises many questions of early life on earth. The jaw of this alien is clearly artificially made. Its style and the material used differs from the skull and from the rest of the body. The width of the jaw is about 100 meters. Thus, this creature wasn't a small one either. Uh, it's impossible to recognize these giants in nature, because they are so overwhelmingly enormous. But modern technology gives us tools to identify and to study these aliens. Namakwaland is full of weird fossils with cone heads. This ET like being had a very long cone head as well and big alien eyes. This being was probably killed by shooting it because there are many bullets on its face. However, these visible bullets didn't penetrate the skull, but the bigger projectile which broke the bones under the eye. Part of this projectile is still there and it's clearly an artificially made object. This alien likely knew to fly because it had big wings and we can see fossilized remains of, of its enormous wings right here on the map. Geological, anthropological and biological explanations about early stages of the Earth and about the theory of evolution are not correct in all respects. Because there are so many evidences of intelligent life in the Proterozoic Iron and even earlier. Uh, this life may not have been based on carbon, but it's certain that there was intelligent life of some sort. The top of the cone is bound with wires and with some clearly artificially made locking system. These are very strong evidences of intelligent life in the Proterozoic Iron. And these weird life forms were 
Diane. Here a petrified remains of a giant bird or an ancient sculpture of a bird. Its tail is extremely long. This is a petrified skull of an ancient giant which is likely about 2 billions of years old. The skull is about 11 kilometers and the whole skeleton about 38 kilometers long. Amazingly, fossilized teeth of this two billions of years old giant are still visible. Nose hole is in its place and eyes can still be seen there. And look at the other eye of this ancient alien. There is a screw with a kind of structure around it. This 38 kilometers long fossilized being is placed next to a giant head of which structure is still visible on the map. They were giants and even more giants. Many respected scientists have uh, even discovered giant human bones. Ancient historians like Josephus mentioned burial sites and bones of giants as a real thing. However, there are only references to mythology, for example in Encyclopedia Britannica, uh, in relation with ancient giants. We know that Venus write history, and in this case Venus must have been apes and ape humans because everything else is ignored in their so-called giants and history. This ancient astronaut or diver is one of the most astonishing fossils or statues I've discovered there. His face and visible remains of the body are very human-like. There are some devices or weapons used in his suit and he's holding some obviously important objects in his other hand. The sticks or devices are sewed carefully into the suit of this ancient astronaut and they are enormously at least 400 meters long. It's unbelievable, but this is real history of our planet and it's very likely that these advanced giants created also modern life forms. There is also a nozzle with the tube placed in his mouth and this was likely for breathing. He's also holding a peculiar thing with long and narrow objects in his hand. This could have been a kind of energy source for him. These long objects are, are also in many other places and I will present them later in this video. Is this an ancient alien form of early humans or humanoids which uh, were created before apes and other multicellular life forms based on carbon? We can only wonder but these, these things are real and everyone can see them uh, on the Google map. This side looks like a giant battlefield with traces of blood everywhere. There is a female alien like protecting astronaut who seems to be a child, and this female looks desperate. She has also some sticks or devices but placed on her head. Curiously, some male alien is haunting her and shooting some stuff from his suit. This male alien is an extension of a really weird, nasty looking being with a high hat. After adding more contrast, this ancient alien world with creatures which could be from the horror movie became more visible. Can you imagine these kilometers long monsters are petrified fossils from the early stages of the earth, or they are molded to bedrock by some ancient artists? In any case, these beings are clear evidences of giants on earth.
The species are similar to those seen in the hand of the astronaut presented previously. The sight is also extremely rare. Here we can see a kind of alien creature or even a fetus uh, whose body is uh, like a flattened skeleton. These long pieces were obviously its energy source, a kind of batteries which made it to grow. Here we can see its skeleton and uh, this, this, this creature was definitely a very alien one too. These mysterious long pieces were its so-called heart, and fine lines of the white matter grew from its main body as they were veins. Its form in teeth are also recognizable. I found these giant devices or batteries in many places in Namakwa land and in its surroundings. Interestingly, there is also one similar gigabattery in southern Finland, discovered in a magnetic map. When the African objects are from 1 to 200 meters long, this giant giga in Finland is about 15 kilometers long. There are also barrels and um, the site is full of lithium and gold, thus the barrels were likely for metal processing. There are also giant aliens in this proterozoic site. They seem to be alive, having some kind of magnetic life. A sitting female has some tools in her hand. Our world is full of mysteries and these ancient aliens are definitely one of the greatest mysteries we have in our planet. I've studied the ancient Sumerian Anunnaki culture, identity and language of the Sumerian people and roots of the priestly royal class which came from the world of the ancient giants. Abraham was also a descendant of these mysterious giants who have left their traces all over in our world. May Abirut Mahabharata Part 1 enlightens this mysterious history in a remarkable way.